Hey guys, welcome to the final installment of the Crank Makeup Tutorials. And I'm taking black body paint and I'm gonna cancel out part of my nose because I'm pretty sure in the book someone's missing a nose. I'm also making my eyes significantly darker. And I'm also making it pretty much as messy as possible, just dabbing it with my finger in water. Also put that black in between your lips and drag it down and up and make it look like your mouth, oh it's my phone, to make it look like your mouth has pretty much been cracked off. I'm also making a sort of smile. And of course, as last time, we're going to need some more veins if we're even crazier than before. And I'm taking the purple body paint and rolling my q-tip back and forth to create those uneven sort of lines. I'm also going in significantly darker than last time because we want to look as gross as possible. You should start looking pretty corpsey. I'm also hollowing out my neck and cheeks more, as well as my forehead, and pretty much everywhere that could be hollowed. To make our cut look more decayed, I'm going over with white, purple, and a little bit of gray and turning all of the red stains into dark purpley stains and also adding black pretty much everywhere. And as you can see, I'm turning all of my red stains a little bit brown phone because if it's dried blood, it just ain't gonna look the same. I'm also putting that dried brown blood stains all over my chin to make it look like I just ate someone. And that's how you do crank makeup. And this is obviously someone who is beyond the gone and, you know, having a good old time eating people. So thank you guys so much for watching TTYLXOX, and I will see you buds next time. Bye! Rose took my nose, I suppose. Ah.